There is no debate that urgent action is needed to solve Southern California's ever-expanding homeless crisis. One potential solution now getting lots of attention is a new push for an anti-camping ordinance. It would mean an end to tent cities on sidewalks and in parks and help move more people indoors. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter live with the story tonight. Leanne. Mark, growing encampments are now found in every district in the city. That ordinance aimed at large encampments like what you see behind me here. Massive uh, structures, some of them built out of wood, completely blocking the sidewalk. Residents forced to walk in the street as a massive homeless encampment covers the sidewalk. This scene in Hollywood repeated all across the city. I'm living somewhere where I don't feel safe taking my mom for a walk. I don't feel safe sending my nieces to the store if they came to visit me. Like the tents that are everywhere, like they've been there and it's like they're doing nothing about it. There's tents with generators. It's crazy. It's, it's embarrassing. The city council moving closer to taking action, set to vote on Thursday on a so-called anti-camping ordinance that would restrict sleeping and homeless encampments in certain areas of the city, like on sidewalks and in loading zones. It does not make it a crime to be homeless. It does not punish people who have nowhere to go. It does not mean the city is prioritizing enforcement over housing and services. Similar anti-camping laws already exist in a number of cities, including San Francisco, Santa Monica, and Long Beach. Some residents say simply clearing the unhoused from sidewalks doesn't help solve the ultimate problem. It seems to me the best possible solution would be to have some uh, unused space somewhere, a field, a big uh, parking lot where people could camp and where there could be facilities. Many frustrated residents say the crime and trash created by the encampments is getting out of hand and are wondering what it will take for the city to finally take action. It's getting out of control. They're literally like building houses and forts that <laughs> rival studios around here. Several council members voted against moving that ordinance forward, saying more information is needed. Again, the city council set to vote on Thursday before going on summer break. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.